Hello and welcome to my first library haul of 2022. I know I said in my January book haul I wasn't going to the library as much but here we are. <laughs> I just went and picked up some holds for middle grade March. It is hosted by Krista at Books and Jams, The Curly Reader, and Life Between Words. So the link will be down below to all of that if you want to check it out. I won't be posting a March TBR, but this is like technically it because I have a lot of things I want to read for middle grade March. So I'm going to get right into it. Let's get started. I just posted a Instagram reel of some of the books I'll be reading for middle grade March so you can follow me on Instagram at Pucks and Paperbacks if you want to see more of what I'm reading. Also I decided to combine this with my February book haul because I only got one book and so I will also share that at the end. But let's first talk about my library books because I've got a lot of them and I'm excited to share. First I have Obi is Man Enough by Skylar Bilar. If you don't know Skylar he is a trans activist and he's also a trans swimmer. And if you're new here, hi I'm Alex, my pronouns are he him, and I love trans sports stories. So I'm very excited for this one. It's really big and I didn't expect that, but I do have a lot of shorter books on my TBR as well. I have not read a lot of trans middle grade, so I'm really excited to read more this month, but I picked up Kyle Lukoff's book, too bright to see. I've heard a lot of good things about this and it's very small and I'm excited to read it. I'm really going into all of these books not knowing much but I do know that everyone loves this book and I'm super excited to read it. And next I have Fast Pitch by Nick Stone. I've been wanting to read this since she announced it and comped it as The Sandlot. That's one of my favorite movies of all time so I knew I had to pick this up. It is about a girl on a softball team and I'm really excited to read it. There are a couple of challenges for middle grade March and I'll just briefly mention them here. Read a contemporary, fast pitch will work for that one. Read a book set in Asia or that has an Asian main character. Obi is man enough will also work for that one and there are also a couple others but those do not pertain to library books. I think that was all of my holds that I got for middle grade March and like I said you can follow me on Instagram if you want to see more and I'll also be talking about my current reads on my podcast Reader Rambles. The links for that is down below if you're interested in that but here are the rest of the books. Next the sole purpose for me requesting books at my library was for Koreathon. It is happening from March 7th to the 13th. It is hosted by Monica Kim and Books with Chloe and I decided to pick up some books for it. I will be getting the group book on Hoopla so that is still a part of my library and I have another physical book but I will talk about that in another video that I'm doing. So Koreathon is a week-long readathon where you read Korean authors and I ended up picking up two books from Robin Ha and I've never read her before and I'm very excited. So I picked up Almost American Girl which I've heard a lot about and then I also picked up Cook Korean which is just a comic book with recipes and I'm really excited. If you missed it I am participating in the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge and the Book Riot Reading Challenge. I talk more about it in episode one of my podcast so I will have that linked up above and down below if you want to watch it and just hear more of my thoughts. For the Book Riot Challenge all American Girl is going to complete to read a non-fiction YA comic and so this is that. <laughs> so this is Robin's memoir and I'll just read some of the description and it says for as long as you can remember it's been Robin and her mom against the world. Growing up as the only child of a single mother in Seoul, Korea wasn't easy but it has bonded them fiercely together. So when a vacation to visit friends in Huntsville, Alabama unexpectedly becomes a permanent relocation following her mother's announcement that she's getting married, Robin is devastated. And the blurbs 
are from Jerry Craft, author of New Kid, which is a graphic novel I really like. And he says it is a powerful memoir that not only shows what it's like to be in a new town or a new school, but what it's like to move to an entirely new country. It's an amazing journey that is sure to promote empathy with readers. So it is going to fit the Book Riot Challenge to read a nonfiction YA comic. I love graphic memoirs, so I'm excited to read this one. And I've seen a lot of great reviews about it, so I'm excited to read it. And Cook Korean, I just picked up on a whim because I found it somewhere. I get a lot of my recommendations from Instagram, so I'm pretty sure that I saw this on Instagram. And one of the prompts for the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge is to read a book with recipes in it. And so that will complete this, or this will complete that. So like I said, a lot of my reading is being based around challenges, which is no surprise because I love to add challenges and games to how I'm reading and I am going to continue to do that. So I was at the library and I randomly picked up Your Heart, My Sky by Margarita Engel and I was just looking in the teen section and I found this and I didn't check to see what it's about. So if you've read it, please don't tell me because there is a prompt for the Pop Sugar Challenge to read a book that you know nothing about. It's pretty short. I did look and it is written in verse. So I'm really excited about that. And so I'm just going to pick it up randomly. I've never done that before where I just get a book solely based on the cover and I know nothing about it. So it's going to be a fun challenge just to pick up a book that I've never heard of before. And it is a stunning cover. So I'm really excited. And my last book that I picked up at the library is Coming Back by Jesse Zabarski. And it is a graphic novel. It is queer. All I know is that this has some fantasy elements. It has queer rep. That is it for my library haul and I will end out the video sharing the one book that I bought in February. And to end out the haul, let's talk about some of the books that I got in February. I pre-ordered Ophelia After All by Raquel Marie. I'm so excited to read it. I also got pre-order incentives. So I got a bookmark with the characters and a signed book plate. I'm super excited to read this. I really want to get around to it, but I don't know. I feel like I have a really busy month, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to, but I really, really want to because I'm just so excited to read it. <laughs> and then I finally got a Christmas gift that my friend bought me and this is the Clockwork Readers Bullet Journal. I haven't used it yet but I am really excited to. And that's it. That is my March library haul and February book haul. Let me know what you'll be reading in March. Have you read any of these books? Let me know in the comments. If you want to see more bookish things from me you can follow my podcast. It is Reader Rambles. The links are down below. We're on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and you can follow me on Instagram at Pucks and Paperbacks for more bookish things. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you're new here feel free to hit subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss a video. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it so more people can see it. Goodbye.